Hey everyone, welcome back to Unsolicited Bourbon Reviews. Today is episode 26, and instead of a Which One Wednesday, we are going to do a Weller Wednesday. Um, Weller, part of the Buffalo Trace Distillery lineup, uh, very sought after. This is uh, considered an allocation, and of course, this is one of our weeders again. So instead of a uh, rye mash bill, uh, that you substitute rye for wheat. Um, so the age on this is undisclosed. Again, one would lead to believe that it is at least four years, if not six. I, I would probably venture to say it's in the six, six to eight range. Um, mash bill, kind of the breakdown of it is they don't break it down. It just says it's a Buffalo Trace wheat variant. So again, they keep these recipes pretty pretty close with, with Weller, but um, <clears throat> there's a few different Wellers that you'll see out there. Just some, we'll rattle off a few. Um, so you have a, your Antique 107, uh, CYLPB, uh, which is considered the white label. Uh, you'll have a Weller Foolproof, you have a Weller 12, and then I think there's one more, WL Weller. Um, so again, this is stuff's hard to come across um allocation pay, people play they they pay a lot of money for it um i paid 26 dollars for this um we'll get into the review but yeah there's just kind of a crazy weller it really has a lot of hype around it and you know as you can see this is you know i'm taking my time to drink this because they're few and far between again i think i got this uh it's in maybe like less than a Less than a year ago, summer, maybe it's past summer. But um, distinct bottle, see the Weller, and then you'll have the associated color with it. But enough about that. I wish I had more uh, David facts. You know, again, there's not a whole lot on this in terms of, you know, the breakdown and um, the actual age and, you know, things of that nature. So, again, this is something Buffalo Trace it keeps pretty close to the chest. And, again, it, it kind of brings its appeal to the mystique of what Weller is, but again, it's a nice wheat bourbon and definitely a fan favorite. So open it up, not a cork. It doesn't mean it's not good. Um, really curious to know what this is gonna taste like. I haven't touched this one in a while. Um, definitely had some time, some open time, some air in there. Uh, very sweet caramel, very honey forward on the nose. Um, maybe a little oak in there. Nice color, nice gold color. Um, and I don't really have any real distinct facts on this other than just kind of what I smell in the nose, but uh, I wish I had this a lot sooner, maybe as a comparison of, you know, what a new bottle as opposed to one that's been gently used. Okay, so we'll take a sip. Again, honey, uh, so this is a 90 proof, um, obviously it gets up in, saw, up in proof, uh, especially to the 12 year and the bail proof, but um, this is pretty mild to 90 proof and yeah, it's a nice beginner of a weller, so a nice entry level. Okay. Um, definitely have that oak on there. Sweet. Finish is not too crazy. Um, it's a 90 proof. So again, it's gonna be just enough to keep the palate a little warm, um, but it's very pleasant, very smooth, very soft. Again, that's where you're gonna get with these wheat bourbons. You're gonna have a much softer, much softer taste. And this is why it kind of has more of that appeal, especially when you get up in proof, you know, wheat bourbon that comes in at 120 proof, it's gonna you know, go down a little bit easier than, um, you know, has a more of a rye bill to it. So. Uh, yeah, this is, this is good. I mean, I really enjoy it. Uh, second taste. You get a lot of honey, caramel, sweet. It's, it's really good. Um, now let's talk about, let's rate it. I know this one's kind of short today, you know, feeling a little lazy about it, but for Weller Wednesday, I, I really hope to get 
the full lineup by the time I'm done with this series. I mean, there's, there's a lot of great offerings, a little harder to get, and I'm going to kind of act, you know, be a little more actively engaged in getting that and talking to my folks that, you know, I purchased from and see if they can hook me up. But, um, for first Weller Wednesday, this, this bottle right here, usually, I mean, you can go up to be a hundred, almost 200 bucks. I think I've seen somebody pay like $300 for this bottle. Um, it's absurd. The, the MSRP, it's, it's $24. Um, the value, nine. This is a great $24 bottle of booze. I paid 26. Um, anything under 30, obviously. Taste, uh, I, I'd, I'd give it a seven and a half. You know, I, nothing crazy, nothing really right home to mom about, but it, it, it's good. It, it's very solid um, all around. Good, sweet flavor profile, soft, easy sipper. Um, with a value, it being a nine, I would say with a taste of being a 7.5, I'll be stingy today. We'll, we'll say 7.5 all around. But